What if I told you that you can create professional quality logos in just five minutes? No Photoshop, no Illustrator, no design skills required. And the best part, it's completely free. Your logo is the face of your brand. The first thing people notice, but designing one, it's usually time consuming. I have tested every AI logo maker out there, seriously, all of them, and they all had the same issue. Blurry images, generic design, no real customization. But then I found one tool that actually works. And today I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. This is Recraft AI. It's a powerful AI design tool that lets you create high quality, scalable vector graphics in seconds. Let's get started. Create your image box, then click here to select your graphic style preset or to create your own. As you can see, I have multiple presets created already. We're going to the right top corner and click create style. It's going to open this window, then click upload. We are going to select five images that has the style that we want to create. On the style setting window, make sure it is vector art, not illustration or anything else. For a style level prompt, I'm going to type detail, colorful, mascot logo. Now we're going to test our style. Let's see if it works. Perfect, it got the traits. Now we're going to create our first logo. I'm going to prompt blue dragon with thunder powers. Actually, aggressive blue dragon. On artistic level, you can select the amount of expressions or details that you want your design to have. And on top, you can select the colors that you want. This is very important. You can generate random color palettes until you find the one that you like. No, no. I'm gonna go ahead with this blue one. Ooh, I like this already. It generates two versions. I like this one more. If you want to change the color, you just double click the image and it's going to give you more colors options. You can search the color by hex code if you like or generate more random palettes. If you want to go back to your previous settings, just click reset on top. You can also change the numbers of colors used to increase or decrease details. Nice, I, I really like this. It's it's looking great. Great, let's keep going. Go to insert and click text. Write your logo type, Dragon Knight. This is the first thing that came to my mind. I think it's a great name though. Increase the desired size. Then we're going to create a frame, size it accordingly, and drag both logo and text into it. Click the frame. Now we're going to combine them with a prompt. Select your design style always. I click and I'm going to write mascot logo. Click free craft frame and let's see. Wow, this is amazing. Just in second guys. It gave me different versions too. For some of the imperfections, you can select the lasso tool and click modify area. And I'm going to select this horn, which is kind of weird. Then write straight horn to fix it, boom. That's a lot better. I could go ahead with this logo already, but I want to see what else I can come up with. I'm going to click fine tune and write more details. Sharper, bold outline, and it's gonna be same style level. Make sure that similarity is set to almost identical to preserve details. Now let's see. Huh, interesting. I really like the amount of details on this compared to the old one. Wow, the second version looks great. We can see the before and after. Now let's go ahead with this one. Now we want to professionally mock it up. Click insert, mock up. We're going to create a box and we're going to write our prompt. White bomber jacket, backside, black background very simple guys awesome now you just need to drag the logo on it and it's going to mock it up for you 
Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. This just in seconds. Precise it as you want and remove the background by clicking this tool on top. Boom, way better. This is your final product. Now let's create our second logo. I already have the prompt and the style created. It's going to be a retro burger place. Let's select our colors. I'm looking for a red and black combo. I like this one, similar to what I'm looking for. Let's change the background and add a secondary color. This was about my third prompt and I loved it. It looks so cool. Let's add the logo type. I'm going to call it Far Side Burgers. Resize it, make it bigger. Create the frame to combine them. You can change between horizontal and vertical. Boom. Now drag both text and logo to it. Let's select our style to make sure that it is consistent. Then I'm going to prompt fast food funny font. Fast food funny font. Boom. This is great. I love the font and how it harmonizes with the logo. Now let's create our frame for our mock-up. This is too wide. I want a close-up so it focuses more on the product. Now I will crop it a bit more and I will drag the logo on top of it. Boom. Then we're going to remove the background. Click the background removal tool. And there you have it. A professional looking logo for a burger restaurant. Now let's do our third logo. Let's say that you are in the consulting business. I drew my box and prompted dynamic hourglass with bold lines and perfect alignments. Change colors to blue. You can select any color that you will like. I like this muted blue. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's elegant and it represents the brand. Now let's type our text. I'm going to name it Time Catalyst Consulting. Increase the size and place it next to the logo. Create the frame to combine them. I want it more horizontally so I can fit and drag. I want it more horizontally so it can fit and drag both text and logo into it. Select your style to keep the consistency and I'm going to prompt modern business font. Huh, interesting. Let's select the second version. Let's change the color. Uh, kind of like red-ish. I'm looking for red, blue, or green. Let's see. I like this blue, kind of similar to what I had previously. Now, let's create our mock-up box. I'm going to write business card in hand, dark blurred background. Huh, this is not bad at all. Let's drag the logo on top of it and resize it. Let's see, like that. Remove the background. And this is the result. I did some other experiments with the font on this logo and it looks so much better now. Well, there you have it. This is how you can create professional looking logos in less than five minutes. I'm having a lot of fun with this tool. So let me know how it goes for you guys. See you on the next video.